Oh, you better believe it. That's the best thing they could do for the people, yes. People need to hear about something they don't think of. All right, there you go. Uh, some opinions, uh, and some of them, of course, saying, you know, gosh, gosh you know, if, you're, if you are going to use loudspeakers, yeah, that could irritate people. So, no, don't do it because not everybody wants to hear the message, right? But is it really a free country? Um, again, again, I, certainly there are noise levels that you can breach that you don't want to. But in this case, they weren't breaking the noise levels that were posted by the city to be acceptable. So there's a, quite a difference. Um, we'll get more details on that in just a moment because there's some things that have happened since the last time we've done a show on this. So, uh, but let's take a few follow -up phone calls here first. Uh, Rena from uh, Alberta. Thanks for waiting. Hi, Rena. Rena, go ahead. Hello? Yep, you're on the air. Uh, the first question is a question. Did he use a loudspeaker? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm against that because I, okay. I, but I think he's perfectly legal and right to uh, just preach under the tree. Or if it's in a park, uh, I don't re mm -hmm. remember where he was. Sure. Well, but I'm when he, yeah. it, pardon me? No, I was just going to say, Rena, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, in, in fairness here, we want to give Art uh, uh, and Grace a chance to respond to that. There's a reason they're using loudspeakers and a very good reason, I think. I mean, it's uh, um, and maybe we can let you explain that. Who wants to go on that? Yeah, I, um, there is a, a huge overpass, actually yep. two of them, and the, uh, the overpass itself, the traffic noise is at 65 decibels. And it's so loud, if you would be able, you're, it's impossible for you to speak freely over there. Um, you will have to shout at people and shout at even when they are very close to you. So the only way to communicate with the drug dealers, addicts, prostitutes and homeless is by using a loudspeaker. That's the only way we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not a matter that, um, that we want to use the loudspeakers just because we are using the speakers because we have to. Yeah. Um, for yeah, communication. Words, you, you can't, I mean, you could talk to, you know, a couple of people at a time, but you can't, I mean, when you've got, you know, hundreds of people if, there. If you think um, that the last uh, uh, Easter it. we had about 2,000 people over there, how you expect us to talk, communicate with those people? Yep. First mm -hmm. of all, when you get overpass and mm -hmm. the cars driving through, yep. then you get um, a, an amount yep. of people that big. It's yep. impossible. Okay. So what's the point? Sure. And, and uh, from a legal perspective, the bylaw uh, that's engaged here does not place any restrictions with respect to amplification. They just give a uh, blank authority to the city to either grant uh, the use of the amplification or mm -hmm. not. And, and is the, there a decibel level as well or no? No, the decibel level is in another bylaw, which is the noise bylaw, which allows you, even if you're in your backyard, to use amplification. It just has to be under 75 decibels. Oh, wow. So, and that's measure, and the measurement takes place at the, the next residence mm -hmm. or the next commercial mm -hmm. uh, property. Yeah. And um, so the city has the arbitrary power to deny or grant uh, amplification, but they have always granted yeah. uh, applications for amplification when large numbers of people have been present. Yeah. And the city has arbitrarily denied this right to the street church ministries because of one thing, and that's the message. And what is the message that Art is preaching? It's a message of hope. It's religious yeah. bigotry. Yeah, well, that's, that's interesting. I mean, I, I, I think you're right. <laughs> now, uh, what do you think of that, Rena? Does that make more sense? Does that explain why? It does, but uh, okay. I, w I wish it was in a park because... It is in a park. Get in, it is in a park? Yeah. That's right. Yes, it's in a park. That's and why the city... You said it was under a bridge. Well, it, the park happens to be, it's, it's downtown. This is, okay, let, let me, when I say park, this is not Disneyland. This is one of the roughest areas in Calgary yeah. where people get murdered. I mean, they yeah. literally, I mean, we, they had a murder here, uh, I think, last month. It happened probably, uh, you know, uh, 60 yards away from where they were preaching. Um, so you understand, this is a, a downtown park. It's a downtown park, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. And there is no residential uh, people living around yeah. it. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Rena. Yeah, just to give some perspective again, there's a homeless shelter across the street from this, all right? Mm. And uh, other than that, it's, it's, it's uh, probably, you know, a few blocks before you get actually re right. any residences of any kind. And there are and some residences across the river. Across the river yes. there's residences. But, I mean, I mean this is uh, Calgary. I mean, this is a fairly big river. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's not just, a, you know, a little creek. I mean, this is a long ways away, traffic in between. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, anyway. Okay, Rena, thanks for that. Uh, where are we going to next? Let's take um, Margaret's call. Hi, Margaret. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Very good point. Um, I'd like to bring up some controversy. Sure, anyway, sure. I'm, 
I just pray and ask God to give you strength and the courage to stand through with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's important, although, you know, when it comes to the law, they can bend it to whatever way they want. Yet if you had a turban on your head and a sword on your attached to your leg or wherever they attach it, uh, our RCMP uniform got changed because of Charter of Rights. Mm -hmm. A uniform that stood as Canada's tradition was changed in Canada. Now, we, as a a Canadian culture, our basis was founded on Psalm 72. It's inscripted in the Parliament Mm -hmm. buildings of the Peace Tower. Uh, behold, somebody gets a hold of that that doesn't like it mm-hmm. and wants it scraped off or Well, uh, that, that may come yet at some point, yet uh, those, those attempts, that's quite possible. So uh, you're saying there seems to be a, an unusual bias against Christianity as opposed to uh, other religious uh, groups. There's so, a total uh, unbiased. We can show Santa Claus, we can show Buddha, we can show all kinds of other Eastern religions. Any mm-hmm. kind of culture and religion is acceptable. Plus, the, the Islam has been given many, many grants by the Canadian government to build, to fund. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I think, I th- I'll tell you what, Margaret, I think you're right. I mean, my, my sense is that if it had been a group of Muslims or a group of Buddhists, mm-hmm. and again, please hear this, not, not as any kind of slight against those religious groups. No, uh, God loves them mm-hmm. as much as he loves us. But, uh, you know, um, I, 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 th- I find it highly unlikely that any charges would have been pressed, that any attempts to arrest them would have been made, because they know the public fallout from that would be severe. But it seems to be politically correct to uh, uh, persecute Christians. That's fair game. Um, and then just to prove the point, uh, last year we applied to be in Kagari Stampede Parade. Oh, I and we that. have yeah. been denied our access <laughs> because the gentleman that I applied with said that the name of Jesus offends people. We had Buddhists, we had Sikh, we had... And they were in the parade They already. were in the parade, they had the whole nine yards. Yes. They had Walmart in the parade. Yeah. What if I well, Walmart offended? offends a lot of people too. That's know? right. <laughs> what if I'm offended by Walmart? Should we stop them from marching? Exactly. And I we mean, marched, but we marched surrounded by 30 police officers. And yeah, they vehicles. finally let you in because you had the camera rolling, but they actively tried to stop you from marching. That's right. They almost and, ran I mean, our kids with their and, vehicles. Uh, I mean, right there, you th- you'd think you, you could have a lawsuit the other way around. I mean, you know, maybe there should have been, but anyhow, mm. real, real quick, Grace. Yes, the city of Calgary is violating the constitutional Mm -hmm. rights here and do Mm -hmm. we do believe that the courts will defend those constitutional rights but we are in a position where we will have to go to court to do that yeah and again that's Monday all right so for anyone watching in the Calgary area you know boy if you got a free morning nine o'clock in the morning they'll meet uh, well, I guess maybe in the lobby there uh, of the provincial court building and I think it Mm -hmm. actually starts at 9 30 but get there at nine all right on Monday morning and it's Um, uh, Pardon me. It's located at 323 6th right. Avenue Southeast. There it is up on the screen. Excellent. Thanks, Grace. Okay, okay uh, let's take um, David's call from Quebec. Hi, David. David, thanks hey, for waiting. Paul, how are you? Well, thanks. Good. I uh, think there's too much uh, Christian uh, beating up on, you know? Yeah, Christians are getting beat up too often, you're yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> like any other religion, they go about do whatever mm-hmm. they want, but as soon as you say you're a Christian, that they almost the the government even turns on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not freedom of speech. Uh, I don't know what the democracy is in Canada, but I thought it, we had freedom of speech and freedom of movement. Absolutely right, uh, and, and that's that's the whole issue. How do we respond to it? I guess as Christians. That, and that's the question we're debating here. And I know there are Christians who uh, probably disagree with uh, Art's approach because uh, uh, he's fairly vocal about it. And, and, I, and, and you know what? And I'd love to hear from you as well. I'm not going to you know, yell at you, uh, if you if you see it differently. That's okay. Because, I mean, I, I do understand there, there's a fine line. You do want to be gracious in your response okay, yes. to the authorities. However, at the same time, there is a place to stand up, just as the Apostle Paul did and said, you know, hold on a second, I'm a Roman citizen. Mm-hmm. And he's saying, I'm a Polish immigrant who happens to be a Canadian citizen. Right. And, and I, I know what this used to be like back in Poland under communist uh, you know, rule. And there's some flashbacks coming his way, I think, as he sees what's happening here mm-hmm. with a particular police officer in this case. So, um, exactly. I mean, right, Art, it feels uh, like uh, I'm back home yeah. in Poland. Yeah. I grew up under regime dictatorship. I have seen people being, um, you know, um, abuse of power, police and mm-hmm. all that stuff on the streets, machine guns and tanks on the streets. Yeah. And, you know, when I have two sons right now, I look at them and I said, do I want my kids to go what I went through? 